So I'm going to read a poem called A List of the Delusions of the Islamophobic, what they are overheard saying at dinner parties. And before I perform that reading, I should perhaps uh, make a few um, referential and legal disclaimers. And uh, the first of those uh, disclaimers is that um, you know, these, these, of course, were not in any way, shape, or form, actual uh, overheard sayings at dinner uh, parties articulated by uh, Islamophobic individuals attending those dinner parties. And um, so any reference to uh, Islamophobic individuals holding Islamophobic conversations at dinner parties of any kind, dinner party academic, uh, professional or otherwise um, artistic, poetic, whatever. Those dinner parties, you know, might have been uh, thematically organized around or socially organized around. Um, none of these statements were actually made by any of those um, possible attendants of those potential dinner parties in which, uh, 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 you know, variously hypothetical Islamophobic remarks, you know, may or may not have been made. Uh, so that's the first disclaimer. And, and then the second disclaimer is the, that uh, although a lot of my work um, has a relationship to uh, conceptual poetry, in one way or another, and um, that either involves found materials or, or the reworking of uh, found materials or, or found contexts or found um, domains of, uh, of uh, discursive linguistic games or, um, or um, found um, operations, language operations and transformations. Um, this particular piece is, uh, is entirely creative and in, in, in no way, shape or form has any relationship to any um, particular uh, conceptual poem or history of uh, transformations of any particular conceptual poem or, um, or the uh, the unstated, uh, whatever it might be, you know, um, misogynist prehistory of any conceptual form or or poetic identity or uh, or a particularly problematic um, psychosocial construction of any type of positionality that precedes any particular conceptual poem or. Um, and, you know, there, whatever, you know, I left out, you know, um, should also be part of, of that disclaimer as well. And then, um, and then the, uh, the third, uh, disclaimer, which is, you know, perhaps, you know, more of a caveat than it is a disclaimer. I'm not certain, like, what either one of those words mean, but, uh, whether it's a caveat or a disclaimer, and I haven't, you know, bothered to look those words up, so I'm not certain. But, but also, um, many of my my listeners, if there are, there aren't really actually many listeners, <laughs> so so we can't really say that. Uh, but if if there are anyone, if there are, you know, any <laughs> any individuals out there, you know, listening to the cry of the voice in the wilderness then um, those listeners will be aware that sometimes the cry of, of, of that particular voice in, uh, in the wilderness um, takes the form of, of irony. And, and then, so the third, you know, either uh, caveat or um, disclaimer, you know, will be that, you know, that um, th this piece, you know, doesn't uh, participate in irony in any way, shape or form either. So that all of that, you know, having been said, um, this uh, this piece again, once again, is called um, 
a list of the delusions of the Islamophobic, what they are overheard saying at dinner parties. That Muslims are cruel to camels. That Muslims are cruel to donkeys. That Muslims are cruel to horses. That Muslims are cruel to dogs. That Muslims are cruel to cats. That Muslims are cruel to turtles. That Muslims are cruel to goldfish. That Muslims are cruel to women. That Muslims are cruel to men. That Muslims are cruel to those who identify as gender non-binary. That Muslims hate lesbians. That Muslims hate gays. That Muslims hate bisexuals. That Muslims hate transgender people. That Muslims hate queers. That Islam is more patriarchal than Christianity. That Islam is more patriarchal than Catholicism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Judaism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Zionism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Hinduism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Buddhism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Sikhism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Taoism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Rock Taoism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Confucianism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Rock Confucianism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Neo-Shamanism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Neo-Paganism. That Islam is more patriarchal than Neo-Satanism. That Islam is identical with Al-Qaeda. That Islam is identical with the Taliban. That Muslims are terrorists. That Muslims are murderers. That Muslims are criminals. That Muslims are drug dealers that Muslims are rapists. That there are too many Muslims in the House of Representatives. That there are too many Muslims in the U.S. Senate. That there are too many Muslims on the Supreme Court. That, historically, there have been way too many Muslim U.S. presidents. That Islam is conspiring to take over the U.S. government. That Islam is conspiring to take over the Canadian government. That Islam is conspiring to take over the Mexican government. That Islam is conspiring to take over the various governments of Central America. That Islam is conspiring to take over the various governments of South America. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of Israel. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of India. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of Kashmir. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of France. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of Spain. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of Hungary. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of Sweden. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of Belgium. That Islam is conspiring to take over the state of Luxembourg. That Islam is conspiring to take over the Vatican City, if it hasn't already. That their neighbors are Muslim, that their friends are secretly Muslim, that their friends are not Islamophobes, that their neighbors are not Islamophobes. That members of their family will convert to Islam, that members of their family will fail to see the importance of being an Islamophobe. That there are Muslims outside their doors, that there are Muslims under their bed, that there are Muslims in the parks where they walk their dogs. That there are Muslims in the same parks where their children play on swings. That Muslim children play in, on, in the same playgrounds that their children play in. That Muslim children slide on the same slides that their children slide on. That Muslim children swing on the same swings that their children swing on. That Muslim children drink from the same drinking fountains that their children drink from. That Muslims don't wear masks. That Muslims do wear masks. That they will see Muslims in their grocery stores. That they will see Muslims at their gas stations. That they will see Muslims at their places of work. 
that they will see Muslims in their offices, that they will see Muslims behind their counters, that they will see Muslims at their desks, that they will see Muslims in their libraries, that they will see Muslims in their swimming pools, that they will see Muslims on their trains, that they will see Muslims in their children's schools, that they will see Muslims on their planes, that they will see Muslims in their churches, that they will see Muslims in their synagogues, that they will see Muslims in their temples, that they will see Muslims in their revival tents, that they will see Muslims at their elk lodges, that they will see Muslims at their mason lodges, that they will see Muslims at their Trump rallies, that they will see Muslims at their neo-Nazi rallies, that they will see Muslims at their KKK rallies, that they will see Muslims at their fascist insurrections. that Arabic is being taught in their schools, that they will be forced to learn Arabic in order to keep their jobs, that U.S. election ballot information will only be available in Arabic, that Arabic is becoming the official state language of the United States, that Arabic is becoming the official state language of Canada, that Arabic is becoming the official state language of Mexico, that Arabic is becoming the official state language of the various countries of Central America, that Arabic is becoming the official state language of the various countries of South America, that Arabic is becoming the official state language of Israel. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of India. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of Kashmir. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of France. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of Spain. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of Sweden. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of Belgium. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of Luxembourg. That Arabic is becoming the official state language of the Vatican City. If it already isn't already. That those incapable of speaking Arabic will be executed under Sharia law. That those incapable of reciting the entirety of the Quran will be executed under Sharia law. That those incapable of reciting the entirety of the Sharia law will be executed under Sharia law. That Muslims are in secret attending their dinner parties that Muslims are in secret recording conversations held in their dinner parties, that Muslims are in secret publishing recorded conversations held in their dinner parties, that Muslims are in secret distributing the names of those individuals caught and captured in Islamophobic conversations held in their dinner parties, that their dinner parties will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that their luncheons will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, their that their sexual affairs will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that their public accounts of their sexual affairs will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that their desires will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that their public accounts of their desires will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that their dreams will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that their public accounts of their dreams will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that their public accounts of their inability to dream will never be the same again because of the conspiracies of Muslims, that they will dream of Muslims, that they will daydream of Muslims, that they will fantasize about Muslims, that they will not be able to stop thinking about Muslims, that thinking about Muslims will drive them mad, that thinking about Muslims will drive them to commit murder, that thinking about Muslims will drive them to commit suicide, that thinking about Muslims will drive them to Islam.